Good evening, everyone. I will just do the usual reminders for anyone that may be new. We're doing two sections, the first one for immediate use and the second one for 10.30 this evening. Thankfully, no Zoom this year. Uh, Jeremy, do you want to start us off? Hi, Rob. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. A new season and the first uh, uh, question about Team News. Is there anyone apart from Team News unavailable for Tottenham this weekend? Um, Theo Walcott hasn't had a pre-season so far, so he's not back in training so far. And uh, Nathan Teller was also out with injury for longer. So he was training today the first time, so he would be also not available for the weekend. So how excited are you about the new season with six new signings? You've changed the backroom team as well. Are you bullish about the new season? Yeah, we're always uh, looking forward to Premier League seasons and uh, we know um, how excited it is uh, that it starts again and uh, that we are part of and uh, sure, we are excited. None of your new signings though have played in the Premier League. Is that a risky rebuild? Um, the risk, I mean, we, we, we know the kind of players we get. Uh, they have, if you want, a lot of fantasy. Uh, they can help us immediately or some take a little bit longer. We have seen this in the past that uh, some players need a year to adapt to the Premier League. Some are so, so good that it goes quicker. So we will not see all the new players immediately from the start. Uh, they are young, they have to learn. And, uh, but uh, one, one or the other will get a chance to play immediately. He's a good one, uh, but uh, I have not, still not uh, made the decision, and you will see it on Saturday. It would be a bit cool, wouldn't it? He's obviously very promising, but you know, still so young. Yeah, this is uh, the fact. Uh, but uh, as you know, our history, we are keen to give young players a chance to make their first steps in the Premier League. And this is what we did the last years. And uh, you know what you have to expect from them. Um, a lot of talent, a lot of effort. And uh, in some moments, maybe some mistakes, but they have to learn from and uh, getting better. Uh, that costs you maybe sometimes a little bit of, of, of total performance, if you want. But uh, for us, uh, we, were, we were keen to do this in the past and we will do it in the future also. Um, a number of Premier League clubs would seem to like to get hold of Carl Walker Peters. What would you say to any club who was interested in signing Carl Walker Peters right now? Before we go now through every player who is maybe having an interest from somebody else or whatever, um, I think uh, we should concentrate on on the games that are coming up now. I know that the transfer window is still open for a long time and uh, this is something that will definitely affect your questions in the future but uh, for me it's more important to bring the players in the shape that they can compete in the Premier League and this is uh, the focus I have. And the next game is Spurs. You were sensational there in February. What great memories you must have of that night and can you do it again this weekend? It was a great, great game for sure. Uh, one of our best last season. Uh, but uh, there's nothing older than, than the success from yesterday. So um, you have to to show again that you are able to compete. And uh, we had a perfect game there. And uh, we will ha have to have a, a nearly perfect uh, to to get something there. Just one last one. The Premier League have changed the protocol about taking the knee before every Premier League game. Um, what have the players said about that? And what do you think? I think the the message was that uh, there's a phone call for somebody. It's not only that you. <laughs> should, should I go? Should I pick it up? <laughs> That's right, root. <laughs> okay, I should, yeah, I should have to wake. Baby also. Okay. So. Um, no, I think it is, it is a, a, a okay decision because, uh, as always, everything that you get used to it doesn't have the same impact uh, that uh, new things. And uh, we will we will think about new things that we get remembered about what this is for. And and so it, it's understandable that they want to change something. Thank you. Yeah, Ralph, we know there's always been and is a lot of talent in the squad, but when that game at Spurs last season. The way you fought back, you had to show so much spirit, and knowing there is that spirit there in the group, how much of a, a bonus is it knowing it's there and you know it just sort of needs to be harnessed or show itself uh, more often rather than presumably that's the sort of thing that you're always looking to find. Yeah, and spirit you you can create with good with good uh, atmosphere indoor, but also with good results uh, and. Um, this helps massively. I mean, we are 
all Premier League uh, clubs not exactly knowing where we are in the moment uh, and so the first games are coming now up and and then you have to show how good you are and how, how far you are in your, in your development of your, of your quality and for quality you need you need a good game plan but as you said also spirit and uh, yeah readiness in the right moment and uh, therefore we have to 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 do everything I think this is the last five weeks uh, every club is preparing for this first moment and um, uh, now we will see how far we are and with the um, with the new players and you say they're the 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 various stages ready to make a, an impact without sort of singling out one to put too much pressure on him are you excited in the same way that you might have been at this stage last year about tino being able to explode and get the fans off their seats already or uh, we have to be careful always eh? uh, to not give too much pressure on them. Um, I mean, it was not a disadvantage for Tino last season to step immediately in and play the first game without big conversations about it before. Nobody expected him to play there and this definitely helps you in the beginning, I think, to be a little bit under the radar and then showing up uh, surprisingly. But, uh, you know, Premier League is, 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 is tough. We play against the top team and uh, uh, we will have to look uh, who is ready for this game and uh, when we think he is then uh, we, we we take the i don't want to say risk but we take the advantage to to, to give him the chance to play um, but we when we have shown something in the past that we want to build them up carefully and uh, this this flower that is growing to 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 take care of it because uh, it should it should grow for longer here in this club Romain okay is has had uh, an injury at the end of last season uh, and uh, missed uh, some parts of the of the preseason. Now I think nearly the half of the time he missed. But uh, the last two weeks he was training and so he's now uh, coming closer uh, to be an option. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's a good thing. Thank you, Adam. Um, the thing I remember most about that win in February was how brilliant your midfield were and the movement from the tens and the sixes and. Spurs didn't know what to do with them. Um, now you spent the summer with your three at the back and changed things a little bit. Lots of practice with three centre halves. How much of that was have you done because of your annoyance at the amount of goals you've conceded? Because it's always annoyed you for a couple of years now. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, this is absolutely the key that um, you, if you want to. Be more successful, then you have to concede less goals. I mean, this is not such a big secret. Uh, everybody knows this. It's it's a low-scoring sport, and when you don't concede, you have a bigger chance for taking more points. And uh, this is the reason why we are trying to get more and more stable. But as always, uh, there is not one way to go. There are always more ways to to be successful in the defense, and uh, we tried it very often with a high pressing shape. Uh, it worked quite well for a long time, and then in some moments in the game, uh, it was it was. Uh, damaged because of a uh, quality action from the opponent and hard to defend in any way. Uh, so <laughs> there's no guarantee now when we play a different shape if we play it that we that we then concede less goals. But we will we will or we have worked especially on some details. Um, I must say that um, also the new the new coaches in my staff put a lot of effort in to make these guys better defending and uh, yeah this is the way we go now and, uh, and this is the way we want to get better in, in developing our players that we have and uh, finally um, we will see how often we are able to to have clean sheets to concede less goals than last season. You're about to start your fourth full season uh, as Saints manager. You've kept them up for three with the half a season to start with, already out the last 10 they've been. But where are you now with your ambition, with your expectation compared to the other seasons? Are, do, are you more positive because you've been able to spend a bit of money in the market and so on, or, or the same? Is it still stay up first and everything else? No, the respect from the league is for the uh, for this league is is, is a, such a high one from my side that I am very careful with the expectations in my team always. Um, 
what does what has never changed since I'm here is the effort we put it in after having a break, getting back the energy, recharging the batteries. When I see how much we have done in the preseason and uh, how the, the players were working, then you have to say it was a very good preseason. Um, we had some others also, and then what had, had a tough start because we are facing immediately very good opponents. Uh, also last last season we had we had a good start I think with a lot of draws so I didn't win for a long time but you could feel that there's something growing and this was okay and and we know how tough it is but uh, I think um, the good thing when you are that long in the league is that you know a lot about it and you know a lot about opponents about the the, the positions and and about the quality and uh, yeah this is it makes you yeah settled uh, in the end but uh, without losing the illusion that, that uh, every year more is possible for us. Are you glad you've got a run of games without an international break after a couple of weeks? Is it quite nice for you to be able to plan for these six weeks? Yeah, I think especially the first international break was absolutely something that no manager was, was happy about. So, so this is definitely, I think, something that, that can be useful for getting better in better rhythm. And uh, we are full of energy, so this is okay. Just finally, um, you've openly talked about looking for another striker. Um, so, so I was thinking, why don't you just give Timo Werner a ring, who Chelsea don't seem to want him. You could bring him all over for the season. Let's get some quality in. And you could get the best out of him again, like you did before. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> but um, as, I, as I said before, um, I'm here not today to speak about this or that player. Uh, we know that there are some good players out there and um, we have our eyes open. The, the transfer market is is open for for uh, for another uh, thirty days, nearly, or yeah, something like that. Too many, yeah. uh, it's too many definitely. But uh, yeah, we 